Hey guys! So I have had a lot of people um, wanting me to do certain videos to answer uh, specific questions but um, I'm going to do a little mixture of everything and kind of have a one-on-one -on -one type of conversation with you guys about some certain things that have been on my mind and figured it would be a good time to talk about it now. But anyways, um, finals at my school are over and so I've had all this time to come back home and have the opportunity to work on more videos for you guys. So not only making videos, but I have the opportunity to sleep. So one of the um, questions uh, someone asked me was some tips on how to maintain hair like this, um, preferably turquoise and what dye I used in everything. So first of all, um, I've been maintaining this dye through um, not washing it every other day um, just because no matter what brand you use, it's always going to fade out. So um, like kind of like that. But um, the best thing to really just do is not wash your hair as much as gross as that sounds but I promise you your dye will last a, a three more three or more weeks longer than usual so um, I've been doing that since I've started with this hair color and I can say my dye has been lasting for about a month and a half since I have been um, not washing it as much um, but I know some of you are also wondering, what do you do to keep your hair from looking dirty since you don't wash it as much? Um, this is the same method that I used a year ago with my first video talking about how to maintain seen hair and all that. And um, basically, I use baby powder. Basically, baby powder is the same thing as dry shampoo and it will give you the same results when you're trying to keep your hair from getting all greasy and dirty looking. Um, however, I just use baby powder just because it's cheaper than most dry shampoo products and it's it gives you this fresh smell, 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 and it just smells a lot cleaner and so, um, and it actually will give you an extra three days of like not washing because it kind of keeps your hair from looking dirty for a really long time and even right now um, I haven't washed my hair in about two days and I've been using baby powder to maintain my hair from looking really greasy and it's honestly does not look too bad and I don't have any complaints about it so um, I strongly suggest using baby powder when wanting to help the urge of washing your hair because it looks dirty. I was also asked what product of hair dye I used for the turquoise and simply I use Manic Panic or Atomic, Tur Atomic Turquoise by Manic Panic. And I know I've had people that say, oh, Atomic Turquoise, you know, by Manic anything by Manic Panic is just bad. but in reality, like I said before, every unnatural dye or whatever, or any kind of dye, no matter what brand or what they use, it's going to fade no matter what, just because it's dye. You know, it's not going to be like permanent or whatever. So either whatever product you use, it's totally fine. I just, I just chose Manic Panic just because it was the easiest thing for me to get. And it was in one of the closer stores where I could buy it, which was a Sally's Beauty Supply. But also... It was the type of color I was looking for, preferably. Um, I didn't have to mix any colors to get this exact type of turquoise I wanted. It was just the exact bottle, I guess. So, um, I really suggest that color just because it smells nice and it does look good even after it fades. But that also kind of depends on the bleaching and how your hair looks when it turns blonde. Um, with mine, my hair was platinum, so that's why it has this type of effect and it doesn't look as like greenish as some would be. I also forgot to mention that I did get extensions. Um, you can probably tell because they are also kind of fading too with my hair, but um, I don't really suggest the ones I'm using, which is Euronext um, 
by Remy. And if you follow my blog on Tumblr, you would know that I have this thing against Remy just because of watching reviews of how bad the products are. And the ones that I'm using now, they're not as bad as the ones that I've seen, but I don't suggest them for people who have really thick hair. Um, just because they are kind of thin, um, I'm just using uh, four clips right now, two really sh two really short clips and then two long clips, and they're still not as thick as my previous extensions that I had before, which were the best, but unfortunately I don't have the name of those, so I can't give them out to you. Um, but if you have thin hair, these will be good. Um, you can get them at Sally's for $99. Um, but to be honest, you can find so much better, so much more better extensions than these, and they will cost less or be more fair when it comes to pricing. I, others were also wondering if I bleached my extensions to dye them, and I'm just going to be really blunt with you about it. No. Don't ever bleach your extensions. Um, I just got platinum blonde extensions from Sally's. Just because, again, extensions, depending on what products, depending on what product of extensions you're using, if they're real, if they're real human hair, they're going to get really damaged, just like your actual hair. And um, just getting the platinum blonde is just going to be a lot easier, just because they won't be as damaged, and they will look a lot nicer. So now that we have the hair questions out of the way, um, I also want to introduce you to a temporary family member. Um, as of right now. This is Lana and she's probably one of the sweetest cats I am currently fostering right now. Um, m one of my friends at the dorms took her in but unfortunately um, the RAs there says that students aren't allowed to have pets so she had to be out of the dorms and I decided to take her in until we find a special home for this cutie right here because she's just a big ball of adorableness and purring and ooh. But um, so yeah, she's been really um, awesome having in the house and as much as I want to keep her, our apartment does not fit another cat. But another thing a lot of people have been asking me is where I got my cat sweater. So I got this awesome cat sweater from Urban Outfitters and originally the sweater was about $60 and as you know Urban Outfitters can be extremely pricey so at first I was not able to buy this really awesome sweater which really saddened me but um, when I went shopping a couple days ago with some friends over um, in Miami I went back over there and they were having a sale on original sales and this sweater happened to be on a double sale so instead of buying it for $60, I got it for $16, which is fantastic. And so um, I am now officially living up to my username on here and on other social media networks that I am on. But on a personal level, which is where I was talking about wanting to get personal with you, um, I wanted to talk about um, internet safety, I guess. Um, and which is really important to me because I've been wanting to talk about this for a while since this has been a rising problem. As some of you know, there have been some people that have been um, pretending to be me on Facebook, Instagram, and things like that. And um, unfortunately, people who have been victims of these people through catfishing and I've had people message me talking about um, how they were so glad that they were in a relationship with me or they were able to talk to me on Omegle and stuff like that and I really just want to make things clear with you guys about what sites I'm on and basically kind of like common sense. First of all, the only sites that I am on is Instagram, which is Lucid Kitties. Um, Tumblr, which is Lucid Kitties, um, Here, which is Kitty Supreme, um, We Heart It, Lucid Kitties, um, what's another one? Uh, 
I think that's kind of just it right now. But um, other than that, I do not go on Omegle for the reputation they have for pornographic images and random perverts that are on there. And so, um, all I'm going to say is if someone on Omegle does not show you like a video of themselves but says here these are pictures of me and they were like happened to be me or whatever it's not me okay um when things like that happen a red flag should go up because um of these unfortunate events that led to people getting their heart broken and I felt really bad because of the fact that these people were willing to go out and hurt these people by pretending to be someone else another thing too is um role playing um, there's certain levels of role playing that I'm, you know, that doesn't really bother me, you know, like with non-existent characters, but, um, I've also had, oh my god, what, I'm sorry, I keep fixing my hair, but I've also been having problems with role players on Instagram and Facebook, and some of you are probably thinking, are you hating on the role players? But I will give you my reason why, why there are some role players that I currently dislike right now. And that is, um, I've recently had a few role players that will take my photos and will remove my official watermark on my pictures and put theirs over it. And so, um, some of you may think that's perfectly fine, but um, when you remove someone else's watermark and put yours over it, that is wrong. When I message you and tell you you do not have permission, but still tell me that you have every right to use my photos even though I tell you no. Wrong. Using my photos in role playing to catfish others? Yeah. Like I said, I've tol I'm totally fine with the fact that there are role playing accounts that will role play non existent characters from TV shows and stuff like that. But when you go and steal other people's pictures and watermark them, that's basically saying that you are stealing their pictures and claiming them as your own. Some of you may think that's not it, but that is pretty much what it is. And this is coming from someone who has had people steal my photography and stuff and will watermark over it. And that is the highest form of disrespect when you're watermarking over someone else's work. Um, not only that, but just watermarking over someone's pictures of themselves and portraying them as yours. That is 100% wrong. And, and I'm sorry, but I do not like the fact that when they go out and will say, Hi, I'm Savannah. I'm 16 years old. I have problems with cutting and I hate my parents because they took my cell phone the other day and I think my parents hate me and um, yeah, I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are my best friends. Oh my god, lollipops. I do not act like that. I am 19 years old, almost 20, and um, I am not that big on lollipops, but um, I also don't have these personal problems and I also love my parents to death, um, even if they would take my phone, which they haven't in a few years. So, um, there's also this thing where you're affecting someone else's reputation or their life. For example, with me, I am a photographer. I am always going to be on the internet because I do want to get recognition, but when you use me as in pictures, they will be seen everywhere and people are going to assume I'm the 16 year old that thinks they have problems but really they don't and it's going to make me look bad and think I'm a complete liar when in reality I'm not. All, all I'm going to say is if you are role playing me or you are using my photos and watermarking over them I will report you only because you are disrespecting my rights and copywriting and even when I s basically put my watermark on there saying it is actually mine. So, um, yeah, it's, it's honestly disrespectful, and the fact that people are willing to go out and hurt others by using my photos, that is also disrespectful. So, use this as a lesson, because I will find you, and I will report your ass and take you down. That's all I'm just saying, just because, just for the safety of you guys, and um, risking your chance of dating a stranger that could possibly be a serial killer, or a rapist and I really do not want that to happen to you guys so I'm just telling you that so you can have a little bit of sense of the internet because to be honest the internet is never is all is honestly not going to be your best friend but anyways that's all I'm gonna talk about for today just because I'm really super busy since I got back from Christmas break or since I got back from school for Christmas break and Saturday I will be leaving to go to Disney World so um 
this is all I'm going to talk about because this is all the time I have right now because I have a bunch of things to do. College life. So, um, if you got any questions, uh, comment, uh, subscribe, you know, do whatever, um, say whatever you want to say. I don't care. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas break and ha hope you have a wonderful day. All right. Love you guys.